Hi everyone and welcome to the first installment of our video series on energy policy in Arizona. For this first video I want to begin by talking a little bit about how electric and gas utilities in Arizona are regulated and some of the important energy policies that have emerged from this regulatory process. And I want to begin this discussion by first introducing a very important concept uh, in regulation called the revenue requirement. Uh, first, a little bit of background on uh, utility regulation, though, for, for those who aren't familiar. Uh, most utility companies in the United States are regulated by a state commission. It's often called a Public Utilities Commission, or PUC. In Arizona, we have the Arizona Corporation Commission, or ACC, which fulfills essentially the same role. The Arizona Corporation Commission is made up of five elected officials. In other states, they might be appointed, but uh, they get to make a lot of important decisions about how uh, electric and gas utilities in the state are regulated and how they conduct their business. They get to oversee how these companies make investments, and they get to approve uh, the rates that these companies charge their customers. So if you've ever wondered how they decide what to charge you on your electric bill, this is probably a good video for you to learn about that process. Every once in a while, utilities request changes to the rates they charge their customers. Maybe they've decided that they need to build a new power plant or put in some new power lines to serve their customers. But in order to cover these costs, they might need to increase their rates a little bit to pay for the new stuff. Before any of this happens, though, there's a, a very complex process called a rate case. During the rate case, the company will come to the commission and request an increase in its rates. Uh, the commission holds a series of hearings and ultimately comes to a decision about whether or not the increase in rates is uh, fair and reasonable. The first step any regulator takes in this kind of rate case process is to figure out what the company's revenue requirement is. This revenue requirement this is a very important number because ultimately this is what determines how they calculate the rate that you're charged on your electric bill. But before I explain how they do that, I want to just spend a moment to look at what, what is the revenue requirement and what does it represent. So the revenue requirement is essentially the total amount of money or the total dollar value of what the company has to earn to cover its costs. So I'm just going to write down here to dollars total company costs. And this revenue requirement is uh, is a is a number that uh, involves a lot of different elements, but we can get the basic gist of, of how, to, how to find it by looking at a pretty simple equation. So I'll just write here that the revenue requirement is equal to, let me just change colors here, so revenue requirement is equal to expenses plus company's rate base times a rate of return. So what does all this mean? Uh, well, let's break it down. Revenue requirement, remember, this is the total amount of revenue that the company has to make to cover its costs. It also determines what the uh, rate is on your bill. The total re the revenue requirement is equal to the expenses. So this expense component, this is essentially sort of the day-to-day -day things that the company has to pay for. So this is going to include things like 
operations and maintenance that it has to pay for its plants to run effectively. Uh, might also include things like wages for its employees. And again, so this is the day-to-day -day stuff that the company uh, has to pay for, and it depends on how it manages the company. The second part here is the rate base times the rate of return. So what is the rate base? Well, rate base is essentially the dollar value of all the physical stuff that the company owns. So this is all the things like the power plants and the power lines and maybe the substations and pipelines if you're a natural gas utility. So physical stuff the company owns. And sometimes you might hear this referred to as fixed cost, but I'm just going to write, leave it as stuff here. And um, this, this stuff that it owns is then multiplied by a rate of return. So most utility companies, if they're investor-owned utilities, will have investors who own shares in the company. And they expect a rate of return back to them. And that's based on how much stuff that the company is invested in. So this rate of return is usually somewhere on the order of 8 to 12 percent. Okay, so now we have the total equation. And just to review, the revenue requirement is equal to the expenses plus the rate base times the rate of return. Now, before we go on to figure out how to use the revenue requirement to figure out what the rate is on your utility bill, there's a couple of things I just wanted to point out. And that is that we can see that there's really only a couple ways from this equation that the, the company can increase its profitability. profitability. Remember, the revenue requirement is sort of like an estimate, an estimate of how much money the company's going to make. But it might not be exactly right. So, for example, we estimate what the expenses might be, but if the company is able to figure out a way to lower those expenses, maybe say it is able to run its plants more efficiently or make its workers more productive so it doesn't have to hire as many, then this expense part might go down. If it does, then it's going to be saving more money and you know, even though it has this revenue requirement which we've determined, it won't have to pay as much out in its expenses. Another way it might try and increase its profitability is to increase the rate base. Now, the way it does that is by investing in new stuff. So if the company can buy new power plants and, and own them, then it can increase its rate base and ultimately the amount of money that it can return to its investors. So I just wanted to point these out because it sets up a dynamic where the utility companies essentially are continually trying to both lower their expenses through more efficient operations and they're trying to increase their rate base by getting more stuff. And this, this says a lot about what motivates utility companies when they're trying to uh, make investments and, and ultimately uh, is important for the policies that the commission makes when they go through a rate case. And now in the, I want to turn to figuring out how to determine the rate on your bill from this revenue requirement. And we'll cover that in the next video.